Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Third Angle. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and for all the latest update, hit the bell icon. Now in today's video, we are going to learn some of the modify commands that we haven't covered in our last videos. So let's look at the offset command first. I already showed you in my other videos, but we'll just cover it again. Let's draw a simple straight line. If I want to make a, another line, which is equal length of this line and at the specific distance from this line, I can just click on the offset. My command window says specify distance. I can say 5.0, 5 inches, hit enter. The source entity would be this and then my side of the destination so that would be either right or left whatever you want to pick so that's how we offset our line or offset any entities if we want to do it let's just look at the circle if i have a circle here which is 2.5 in radius enter if i want to offset this circle click on offset specify distance let's just say one inches 1.0 enter my source entity would be this and then if i offset it i'll get the smaller circle than this which is one inch small so if i look at the dimension here of the outside circle which is five inches the inside is three because we took one inch out of the radius right so two inches in diameter so that's how we use our offset command the other important command i want to show you is the weld command so how can we make separate lines into one segment so let's just take a line let me change my layers let's just pick a line let's say i draw a rectangle here which is something like this if i want to if i click on here now i can see that these all lines are different segments right now if i want to make them a one segment so weld my base entity and my all the segments i am going to select all the segments hit enter if i look at it now it says this is all one segment so right now this is all one segment as i told you all the separate lines became one line now so this is how we use our weld command if i want to break these all lines again i can just select that entity and click on explode and if i check again now my all lines are separate segments again right so that's how we use our explode and our weld command the other important command here is split at point so let's say i draw a line here from the midpoint right and if i want to separate this one line into two separate lines first of all i can just explode this so my all lines are different now now i can select split at point click on this line and select the point to split so let's say this is my point and then hit enter so now if i check my lines my this line is separate and my this line is separate so now these both lines are separate lines so this is how we use our command split at point so these are some of the important commands that we are going to use frequently in our draft side or in autocad whatever software you are using so that's it for today's video guys keep in touch